Hello everyone, it's Sal here. A very warm welcome back to another relaxing perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be sharing with you three gorgeous wintry fragrances that I actually have not been reaching for at all recently and I'm going to be just talking about why I think that might be. Um, as we go through the video, feel free to let me know in the comments of any perfumes you own that you maybe haven't been giving an awful lot of love to. Um, I think it's an interesting one because actually, you know, sometimes you might consciously take a break from a certain fragrance, you know, but then other times certain fragrances can get kind of completely forgotten about. So I think there's a few different things that can kind of come into this. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, off the top of my head, I really don't think these are going to be declutters, you know, this isn't the sort of thing where I feel like I want to get rid of them from my collection because I've not been wearing them. Um, I have been known to do that, you know, sometimes I'll take a daft turn and just declutter so many fragrances, but I certainly don't feel that way towards these. I don't really want to get rid of them, but at the same time I've really noticed how little I've worn of them, especially in recent months. Let's jump right into the video. Now, I think first up today, I'm going to mention this fragrance right here, and that is Black Opium Intense from YSL. Now, this is a stunning fragrance, you guys. I mean, seriously, I love this one, actually. I really do love this fragrance. It's a fantastic one. In my opinion, it's a more elevated, complex version of the original. This one is a bit more balanced, actually. There's a bitterness in here. It's not as obviously sweet. Um, there's a bit more going on in here and actually I do think that, you know, even if you weren't a big fan of the original, it's still kind of worth giving this one a try because it's just, it's really different from the original actually. And I think maybe they created this to appeal to, you know, a certain group of people who didn't get on so well with the original. So um, I think they did a fantastic job of this fragrance. It's a really worthwhile addition to the line and everything like that. I do really like it, um, in particular the dry down and the way that it develops and the way that it smells generally in the air around you as the day wears on, it's stunning, like it's a really gorgeous fragrance and for all of those reasons I'm even more surprised, you know, that I haven't actually been wearing it, particularly as we're now into the winter months, you know, so we're now into December, which is crazy. And um, this is a fantastic winter fragrance, it really is. Like, it's one of those um, really unique, intoxicating, beautiful, Moorish, addicting, cold weather fragrances. And I just have not been wearing it. And what I think has actually happened, I feel kind of bad saying this, but, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. But genuinely, I think I've kind of just forgotten about it. Um, Maybe because I reach for the original so often, this one kind of gets a little bit forgotten about, to be honest with you. And I'm quite, I am shocked at that, just because of how much I do genuinely enjoy this. But I do feel like it's been just a bit forgotten about. It's been kind of um, not at the forefront of my mind when, you know, when I'm thinking of what fragrance to wear on a particular day. It's This is not one of the fragrances that I think to reach for. Um, I would always pretty much reach for the original Black Opium over this one. It's just, it's one of my go-to fragrances. This one is never really one of my go-to scents. Um, and I've really noticed that in recent months. This is a really stunning scent. I mean, even when you smell it just at the bottle, you can get that licorice, you can get the boysenberry, there's absinthe in here, as well as that signature Black Opium DNA. So it really is a very interesting fragrance not boring at all it's actually quite interesting to me and there's definitely a bitterness in here but it's still kind of sweet it's really gorgeous and i just haven't been wearing it um i just thought it was an interesting observation considering how much i do like it as a fragrance um i definitely wouldn't want to declutter it not at this point anyway certainly as it stands right now i definitely would not want to get rid of this one I would maybe just like to um, make more of a conscious effort to reach for it. Maybe if I was considering the original Black Opium, I'll just have to remind myself to actually start wearing some of this one instead. So that is Black Opium Intense from YSL. The next fragrance I have in my collection that I have not been wearing at all, 
even though it is the nicest um, winter fragrance. It is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum from Dior and I, I pretty much know the reason behind this. This is not a very easy fragrance to actually reach for and let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your experience in general with this fragrance. Um, I'd be quite interested to hear actually because to me this is quite a, mm, the mood of this, you know, is quite serious. It's quite a gothic, sombre, intoxicating, dark mood, you know, in the sense of the actual emotion that this one evokes. It's a very like serious, dark, gothic, like mood. Um, and I think it's kind of bitter and it's maybe even a tiny little bit smoky just in the mood again, like in, in the sense of how dark a fragrance this is. Um, and it's stunning, you know, this is a stunning, stunning fragrance, but I just feel like it's so serious in the mood and it's so um, heavy and it's quite bitter. And I would say the licorice note in here is very strong. And it's just not a fragrance that I ever reach for, like ever. Um, I think maybe one time I tried layering this with the Eau de Toilette and it was maybe a bit easier to wear, but on the whole I find this one a little bit uh, tricky, to be honest with you. Um, it's not an easy reach fragrance. It's very, very dark and intoxicating and um, it's beautiful, but it's just not one that I can ever really feel that comfortable wearing. I will try and wear this one you know, maybe in the next week or so and I'll see how I get on with it. But certainly, pretty much since I purchased it up until now, it's been one of those scents that's never really been an easy reach for me. I mean, I have enjoyed wearing it a few times, but on the whole, I've not been um, really wearing it very much. Which is a shame because it is very, it's, it's a beautiful, classic scent, you know. Um, but let me know in the comments which one you prefer out of the Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Toilette. Um, I do think maybe if I just made a more of a conscious effort to wear this one, maybe there would be, you know, the occasional day here and there where this would be the perfect fragrance to wear. Maybe if it's like a darker day outside or if I'm uh, maybe not feeling so bright <laughs> or whatever, maybe this would be the type of fragrance to wear on those kind of days like a moodier kind of day. I'm not quite sure what else to say really about this one. That's all there really is to it. I've not been wearing it at all. I wouldn't really say that I feel that comfortable wearing it. Um, I might do an update in the future and let you guys know how I get on. But that's where I'm at with this one for the time being and that is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum from Dior. And the last fragrance we have today is uh, Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One and I did just make this my scent of the day today because I want to try and start actually wearing it more so I did spray it, you know, about an hour ago or something like that um, and it is really nice but I feel like maybe the reason uh, that I haven't been wearing this one very often is just because it's so sweet. It's really a very sweet um, slightly syrupy kind of fragrance actually and sometimes I struggle with those types of scents um, just because I do kind of need to be in the mood for them. Uh, like I say I've made it my scent of the day today so we'll see how I get on with that. I'm enjoying it so far but I think it's just because it's so sweet and sometimes I'm not really... <laughs> I need to be careful with that actually because if I was to spray this and I wasn't in the mood for it it might very well ruin it for me like in the sense of having to actually declutter it because I've made myself feel ill with it. So I do need to be careful and only wear it when I'm actually in the mood for a super sweet scent. Um, today, like I think today was an okay day to choose this one. It's really nice, I'm enjoying it so far, but I certainly haven't been wearing it recently. And it's funny because, you know, all three of these are really fantastic winter scents and we are like in the middle of winter right now. So I suppose this is when I was expecting to get uh, most use out of them and it's been the opposite. So I just thought it was kind of interesting to me and confusing to me. So I thought it was worth actually making a, a video about just because it was some uh, sort of an observation of mine. But, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
let me know if there are any fragrances of yours that you don't really wear very often or um, let me know your reasons for taking a break from a particular fragrance. Just let me know. Um, do you ever completely forget about a fragrance in your collection? It's kind of a shame that that happened to this perfume here because I do really like it. I think it's just because of how much I love the original Black Opium. They're kind of almost competing and I just reach for the original one more, but it's kind of a shame that I forgot about this one a little bit. I do really like this one. Um, you know, and this one is just not a very easy reach. And this one here, I just kind of have to be more in the mood for really. But um, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As ever, um, let me know just how you guys are doing in the comments. It's always so nice to hear from you. Um, give the video a wee thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and I look forward to seeing you very soon on my next video. Bye!